Hey guys, hope you're so well. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, please click the subscribe button. In fact, even if you're not new here, check if you're subscribed. It would mean so much to me. So, today I thought it was time to put a blog post that I've written about the best trainers into action and put it into video format. So you might have read on my blog, I have done a full blog post all about the best trainers. We're talking walking trainers, if you're walking around Barcelona or New York, but they look fashionable, and also workout trainers. Today, I'm gonna to talk you through six pairs of personally my favorite top workout trainers. So these are great for the gym, great for home workouts, great for running, and hopefully you will find this useful. You guys know that I work out a lot. I have worked out my whole life. I've been brought up with an athletic background, so I really am someone who likes to work out. So I've tried a lot of trainers, so I really hope this will help you. So first up, we have got the Adidas Ultra Boost. Everything I mentioned in this video is gonna be linked below, so just click show more or click the little arrow for the links to the trainers at the best prices. Now, ignore the color of these because I personally don't like the color of these anymore. These are so old, that's how good they are. They have lasted me, honestly, years upon years upon years. My best friend has a pair, my mum has a pair, and these are kind of like the holy grail of running shoes. So I went to Barbados on a press trip and I was with a lot of very good runners and they were wearing Ultra Boost. So I was like, okay, Ultra Boost must be good for running. And honestly, I've done a fair few 10 milers in these and they were fantastic. I would describe them as being really good, kind of supportive on the ankles, also underneath the foot on the arch, they feel nice and supportive as well. And that's usually where I get quite a lot of pain. I've never had any blisters with these. They weren't even the kind of trainers that I needed to run in. They were actually fine, like kind of from first use, which is very rare. And they do them in an all white color, which I personally think is beautiful, but they're so cushioned. But even though they look a bit chunky, they're actually super, super lightweight. And I think in all white, you could get away with wearing them kind of, not just for the gym, they're not the most fashionable, but they are so functional. I think what I would say about these is that the idea of them is that the more energy you give, the more you get from them. And I really find that they kind of like fight back. So if you're doing burpees, these are nice and bouncy and just really good for kind of long distance runs or walks. I'd say these feel like they really kind of mold to your feet as well so for me these are absolutely fantastic whether you're doing a HIIT workout or whether you're running but for me these are kind of like the ultimate running trainers they are on the expensive side they range from about 100 pounds to 140 pounds I will link the best price ones below depending on kind of if you go for the newer ones or the old ones like mine but honestly good trainers like I say they will last you a lifetime now if you don't have the budget for the Adidas Ultra Boots I cannot recommend these ones enough. These are the light racers and honestly, I'm obsessed with them. I think I'm a little bit biased because I prefer the color of them. Just like the Ultra Boost, they do them in loads of different colors, so don't worry too much about that. But I was yearning for some really nice white trainers, and but ones that I can actually go to the gym in as well. These have been fantastic for indoor workouts, for home workouts. I have been doing so many HIIT workouts in these, hence why they look so fresh, because they've I've been using them inside, and they are just utterly insane. Like, they are so bouncy and so good, and they were so affordable. These were like 40 pounds. So these are like a very cheap alternative, but the quality is outstanding. All the reviews I read said the exact same thing. The quality is outstanding. They feel so light, but when you put them on your feet, they feel like clouds, and they do have cloud foam inside them, which is probably why when I do a burpee, I swear I get so much higher in these. The bounce in them is just incredible, and they are designed for running as well. So for me, I have found them great for running. They obviously don't mold to your feet, and they don't have the kind of science that goes into the Ultra Boost, but if you are just looking for a really good pair of trainers that you can take from the gym to home workouts and go for running in, these are honestly fantastic. I just really wasn't expecting them to be so good. So next up, number three, and I don't have them to hand because they're not at this house with me, the Nike Zoom trainers. Nike Zoom trainers have been going for nearly four decades. That's nearly 40 years of helping elite athletes and runners. And they are designed for runners. They are really good trainers. Like I say, I don't have them to hand, but they come in so many different colors, so many different types. They advance them every single year. And I am a bit of a snob when it comes to trainers. And I do think that this is why I'm shocked when I find affordable trainers that are good. Things like the Night Zoom are kind of mid-range. They're not 
too expensive, but they're not super affordable. And I think that you're paying for kind of like the science and the cushioning and the support on the angles and that kind of stuff. And any really, really good runner will tell you that, you know, if it's someone that runs marathons, for example, they'll go on a treadmill and they'll test trainers and stuff out. I personally, I do like running, but I'm not like an elite runner. So for me, I'm fine to just buy things and trial them as I go. But the night zooms, my boyfriend has them, I have them. They are so good for everything. I'm really into a pair of trainers that work for running and it means I can go to the gym, particularly because my gym classes tend to be treadmill based and boxing and hit at the same time. So I need something that's gonna be comfortable for everything. So the night zooms are very cushioned, very comfortable. They feel lightweight, but they're very responsive as well. So for me, again, things like doing burpees, it doesn't feel like it's gonna break my feet. I would say they don't feel as cushioned and cloud-like, say the Adidas ones, because I feel like they're a bit more sturdy on your feet. Number four, the Puma Weave. Now these are absolutely battered now, but a lot of you on Instagram have seen me talk about these. These are a very affordable trainer and they've just been really good they've served me so well for over a year and a half they were kind of like my go-to hit trainers for classes and i know so many of you guys agree they feel a lot thinner than my adidas ones so actually i'd say now looking back my adidas ones are more cushioned now my new adidas ones which is crazy but i also think it's because i've had these for a year and a half and worn them into the ground they have soft foam in them and they're designed for agility and my kind of workouts really are agility focused workouts you know i'm constantly switching direction doing jump squats doing 180 squats doing jump lunges and I don't slip in them, they feel great. Also, I actually wore these for my run in Barbados and they were fantastic. Didn't get any blisters, just molded to my feet great and they were super affordable. So they're great. I wanted to come at you next with another affordable runner from Nike because I really like Nike. Nike Revolution are a really affordable running trainer that so many people talk about and rave about. Actually, they look really nice if you just kind of wanted to wear them on a day-to-day -day basis anyway. They do them in a few colors and you can actually get the kid's size up to a size UK6 if it's in stock. So I'll link that below as well for literally like 25 pounds or 30 pounds. So they're super affordable. And I would just say it's kind of Nike's answer to an affordable running trainer. I wouldn't say it's got like crazy loads of science in it, but it's still Nike. So it's still really good. It's still cushioned. It still is great for running. They're actually designed for running. And they look really good as well. I think that's the thing. For me, I don't want to wear clunky, ugly trainers in the gym or for running. I want my trainers to look streamlined, but I want them to do the job and support me. And all of these trainers I'm talking about do the job, have never given me blisters. I can literally go from burpee to treadmill in them. And I love that. So to conclude with the night revolution, they are just very comfortable, very breathable, which I think is important. Actually great trainers if you were kind of like going abroad and wanting to do some runs there, but also very cushioned. And I just think they're so affordable as well. Last but certainly not least, and more on the expensive side, we have the Nike Flyknit. Again, my boyfriend and I both have Nike Flyknits. Most of the trainers I've mentioned are unisex and the Nike Flyknits are insane. Again, Nike tend to do this and there are lots of different versions of the Flyknits. So I'll link my favorite ones below. So you've got the Nike Flyknits. They're very minimal and they're designed to kind of contour your foot and give that incredible support, which is so important. I'm actually very wide footed and all of these trainers are great. They really mold to like wide footed feet, which is good because I find a lot of trainers can be suited for narrow feet. The idea with the Flyknit is that they're very comfortable, but they're sturdy at the same time, which is kind of quite hard to find from a trainer. You want them to be really soft, smooth, and cloud-like to wear, but you want them to feel supportive without being hard and giving you blisters. And the idea of these is that they are so good for running. And the kind of tagline of them is, you can wear them as long as you can run for. So just keep running in them. I just think the fly knits look great as well. They're like very on trend, very cool. There's so many different styles and colors. So play around with it, but they're a very good kind of mid-range premium option from Nike, particularly for running. Then the other fly knit is a Nike Metcon. So these ones I would say are very good for kind of like explosive movements. I do a lot of explosive exercise, you know, your burpees, your jump lunges, maybe even your CrossFit. I personally don't go to CrossFit, but kind of like really good explosive gym exercises. I think they look very futuristic and these are actually best known as Nike's best 
all-rounder trainers and I like to recommend all-rounder trainers I know some people will have a separate pair for running and a separate pair for the gym like I personally like to wear white trainers I think they look great but I know they're gonna get battered outside so I'd be tempted to buy a, a running pair for outside maybe they're a bit darker but I think it is nice to find an all-rounder trainer and like I say the Metcon are kind of like futuristic heaven they look really robotic almost really futuristic but they really are an all-rounder and you can kind of do all kinds of exercises in them so there we have it guys I hope you enjoyed this little roundup I talk about them a lot more on a blog post as well if you missed that it's on mtalks.co.uk and I'll link it below with all of the trainers that I talked about this is my personal opinion and I think running and gym and working out trainers it's a really personal thing it depends what your feet are like like for me it's my arches where I tend to get the most issues and also I do get very bad blisters I'm prone to blisters and I'm very wide-footed I'm basically a duck so you can take it from me someone that's wide-footed someone who I'm not just a runner I dip into running here and there but I also train very hard at home and do a lot of kind of like explosive workouts that are like burpees onto a treadmill onto boxing and these are the things that personally have worked best for me with a mixture of agility speed power and long endurance runs so I really hope this works for you. If you are running a marathon, I would definitely recommend going and getting properly measured or taking kind of advice from a lot of different people, reading reviews and stuff. But hopefully this helps you. Thank you so much for watching. Come say hi on Instagram at mshellx. Big love.